So the reason I want to start with equanimity is not just because my Lama told me so, but because all of the immeasurables depend on equanimity. And we're speaking of equanimity in a very specific way in this context. What we're talking about is feeling equal, uh, equally strong, uh, loving kindness, compassion, and sympathetic joy for everyone, not just like my people, but not so much those people. Or, um, you know, somebody we read about in the news, it's like, well, you know, that I'm sorry for them, but oh, well, you know, but if it happens to somebody I really care about, well, you know, then it's a big deal. Um, so the whole point of all of these practices is that we learn to expand our capacity for compassion. And yes, it's a capacity. It's not just a passing sentiment. And it's a capacity we can build. So we're born with a certain amount of compassion. I think all of us, when we see, um, you know, some of these videos of, uh, you know, owners and their dogs reunited or whatever it is, you know, we're kind of, you know, <laughs> uh, because, you know, they suffered missing each other and uh, we feel sympathetic joy for them. And so there are uh, our natural capacities for those, but to expand them beyond what is easy and comfortable, which is, you know, having those feelings for those people we already have decided we care about and they're on our in, on our team in life and that kind of thing. Um, to expand that capacity is um, what is going to, I think, be a key antidote to what's ailing us these days, because there's a lot of us them thinking. And uh, we actually do have right built into our brains uh, that we think about people who are in our team um, we process that in one part of our brain and people we think of as being not of our team, we process in a different part of our brains. So this is a brilliant method for expanding our sense of who's, who our team is until it's all on everyone. So that's what equanimity is about. And that is really being practiced in all of the four measurables.